The proof that is evidenced by today's ceremony. A piece of that thread will leave with every person who is assembled here today. And the piece of that thread will leave with every school child, every citizen, and every international visitor who comes to this spot to pay homage to one of America's most recognized symbols of democracy. More than two centuries ago, as our founding fathers struggled with the birth of a new nation, Thomas Jefferson dreamed of an architectural vocabulary that would express the vision of our republic. He found that vocabulary in the simple lines and towering strength of Greek and Roman architecture. The neoclassical central structure that you see today was designed by Thomas Jefferson to serve as one of the first state capitals in the New Republic. His design was influenced by ancient temples, perhaps to reflect a view that Virginia's capital should be a temple to freedom and liberty. In 1789, three years into a 12-year construction cycle, Jefferson wrote, Our new capital, whenever it shall be finished, will be worthy of being exhibited alongside the most celebrated remains of antiquity. And on this spring day, in 2007, over 200 years later, we agree with Mr. Jefferson. Today you will see a first-class restoration that has reclaimed many long-obscured historical elements of Virginia's capital. These physical features, the Jeffersonian fabric and 18th century woodwork and masonry that experts previously thought had been removed or destroyed, will enhance, will enhance the historic experience of those who walk the halls of our capital. Furthermore, we have reclaimed the strength and integrity of the physical structure that is part and parcel of Mr. Jefferson's dream about permanency. Today we will rededicate Virginia's capital to continue service as a working statehouse, playing host to the oldest continuously operated represented government in the nation. But our rededication doesn't stop there. It extends to what goes on between these historic walls. We must also rededicate ourselves 